and we are How are you on about? I just uploaded the last week. We haven't been uploading consistently. And we are live <laughs> in, in the all 37 <laughs> Do another take. Do another no, take. this is no, we gotta commit to this. Alright, fine. Take, we're doing bro. another Welcome. We're keeping this take in. Welcome. It is October 30 on a Tuesday. Wait, it's 7:04 p.m. <laughs> this isn't live. This but isn't like, live. Oh, oh we're not. We're not, totally we're not forgot. live. We're just recording. Yeah, this but is like, the point of recording. So yes. you know, just so it's in touch with the lore. <laughs> with the lore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are here in the third podcast from Hub 37. Thanks so much for tuning in it's the with us. 7.04. Okay, it's 7.04. Um, we're going to be keeping track of time to see how long we're actually going to stay up just talking. And um, we're really sorry we haven't been, you know, uploading consistently well, lately. Yeah, that's true. I uploaded last week. No, yeah, we actually uploaded a lot. We actually have a lot. him. Yeah, we Thanks actually have Jake. a lot of Help content. Help me out, guys. No, hey, I upload. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll upload this. I'll upload Ali's party. Okay. Oh, so Whether you're going to upload editing. it. I don't know. No, Find okay. time. <laughs> Is my Actually, mic working? Yeah, your yeah. your mics should okay. be working. Sorry. But like, yeah, we have been we have been uploading some stuff. Yeah. It's it's just that we actually have more stuff that we okay. haven't been able to upload. We have like what six six vlogs that we forgot to that we yeah. haven't no, edited I, that I will and release. uploaded yet. I will I'll, I'll definitely release those. I I already finished one edit, so yeah, that's one out of five. And then whoever's going to edit the yeah, we're, we're actually yeah, do you want to edit or I'll edit? I can edit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you want to edit it now? I think you guys deserve yeah. a break. Because <laughs> oh, like true. these two are these two, Jake and Jeth, are actually the main editors of Hub Thirty Seven. No, I'm there's Jake. there's no uh, there's no uh, rest for the weary. There's no rest for the weary when it comes to post. I mean, I get it, I get it. But like, we're there's a plan for this channel where we're actually one plan for this channel is we have planned to upload a lot of what was it called late late vlogs or like. Yeah. Throwback, throwback, vlogs. throwback vlogs. There we go. Throwback, throwback vlogs. vlogs. These are basically these things that we shot, but we just haven't like really? edited and uploaded yet. One of which is the when we went to watch Avengers: Infinity War, <laughs> which was <laughs> which was like how long which ago, took man? place six months ago. And it, was it really six? It months? was six months ago. It was last April. And what um, the f- Jethro actually just got to editing that. What? Yeah, I just finished it. You just finished it. <laughs> Wait, what about Subic? Yeah, oh, sh- Subic. Oh, definitely. Subic was I wanna, I wanna make Subic like really sentimental because <laughs> it's been so long already. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that was also April. It, yeah, was it? It was. <laughs> no, but that, because like it, it happened during uh, Holy Week. Oh yeah. Mm. It did so happen. yeah, uh, Subic actually I think was my fault because nice one. Like yeah, Jake left his hard drive with me for like what two weeks and I didn't touch it. <laughs> Good job. Oh my Can, god. Cause I have it. I have it back, right? Yeah, because like I'm really worried yeah, about that, that, the amount of space it's gonna take because I think we got like 15 take. gig of footage when we went really? to Subic. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. So like, plus I'm not really sure how to a- approach. I don't, I'm not sure if it should be a travel vlog or if it should be like a vlog vlog. Yeah, just make it a vlog. Yeah. All yeah. right, I'll just make you it. Do you? To be yeah. honest, like. Yeah. You know, I'll probably make it like whatever comes to mind, I guess. But <laughs> and uh, what else? We have a lot of cons that. You <laughs> vlog that you haven't edited like two years worth of um, Asia Pop, I think, or was it no, no, no the other one? The, the, uh, Is it ToyCon or Asia Pop? No, we have oh Asia God, Pop. Oh God, we I do have a ToyCon here. <laughs> yeah, do you have a ToyCon? <laughs> okay. I have so, a ToyCon, and the con where we dressed up, where I dressed up as the what was that? Were you Toru Daru? No, 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 no. we already uploaded that, but the one where I was uh, the theater thug. <laughs> oh my god, that was like an uh, Ozine or something. Ozine? Or something. Was there Ozine? Or Cosmania? I think, I think it was, it was Cosmania. Cosmania. Yeah. Yeah. I, rem- I do remember Two seeing that photo. Were, that were that you thing. there? No, you weren't there. there. You, okay, because you you're not there. a weeb. Yeah. Trash. <laughs> Ew. But yeah, um, Ew. What, else, what else haven't been uploaded? There's a lot. Um, he uploaded... He uploaded uh, Roman oh. Reigns. Yeah. Oh yeah, you uploaded that. Thoughts on Roman also, Reigns. Uh, yo, why did we talk about there that? There were a lot of a lot of videos that actually blew up during your up during October. Like yeah, the off white one. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I did yeah, rant on off white because. Uh, yeah. Just watch the video. If anyone's <laughs> even listening, just watch the video. No, no one's listening. No one listens to this shit. Hey, what the <laughs> <laughs> no, we have wait. We have thirty-eight subs. <laughs> Can you believe? Like, you, know, you know, apparently, like one of them is Gabe. 
Really? Scala, because like Rika oh, got yeah, him Rika, to yeah, watch yeah, yeah. Uh, Gabe Scala. I remember I him. Yeah. yeah. Two. Nice. Hi, I mean, Gabe. I don't think you're listening to this, but hi. If there's one person uh, who if you're is listening. probably sure listening, it's probably Rika. So shout out to her. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Rika. This <laughs> honorary is a member of the hub. Podcast with, like, for now, honorary. Out. For now, honorary member of the of the hub. Um, what else we got? What's what's this, what? How are you guys? What, what's what's been happening? Well, it's uh, been. Uh, let me check. How it's long has it been since we uploaded the last podcast? Been, I'm well, currently well, on. I don't know. It doesn't count because there is a test podcast that never aired. Oh yeah, together. that's another thing we forgot to upload. The test cast. Was that after Jackie left or before? It was no, after. No, after yeah, after Jackie I, left. I just came back from Canada by the time. Oh, so that was around August. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Wait, September. Our second podcast was last August. Oh, okay. Two months ago. So yeah, it's oh, been wow, it's, two, it's been two months since then. So why don't we talk about some stuff that have happened since <laughs> then? <laughs> you, I don't know. No, if you guys are gonna, you you got you are guys. Um, are you still any... fresh from your Canada? <laughs> <Do> you <still laughs> oh yeah, we were supposed Canada. to talk about your Canada trip, but then I, was, like, I feel like it's been to be like the start. It's so outdated. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah it's okay. Been, I can still talk about it. It's been it. so yeah, long yeah. since. Unless you're you're still game to talk about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still game. To All talk right, so let's get to because like I still miss Canada a lot. Yeah. I miss Canada. Must suck. And that was coming back here. Yeah. And of course, I miss Jackie. So uh, yeah, same. Of yeah. course. Uh, well, you can see what I did in the Canada trip stuff. Oh, oh. feedback. Okay. Yeah, it's, it, so you can see most of the stuff that I did in Canada through my trip. But then I also started looking at schools because I'm planning to mo- do some schooling after college. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I remember you told us about that. I don't know if you guys are still interested though cuz I oh, actually I'm, I think I still am. Yeah. I feel like I'm more than opportunities right. are very limited but here cuz I yeah, I'm asking the guys if they want to uh you know have a dinner and we can talk about yeah. Canada stuff already. Definitely. So yeah, the problem is I'm not sure where. No, I'm not sure like how exactly we can like No, that's it off. why that's why there's the talk uh, if you yeah. guys are still interested in that. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely I'm still interested. Yeah, I want to wait till I graduate first. All right. Yeah. But for sure, like, if if nothing works here, which I'm kind of, uh, like, I don't want to say pessimistic, but, like... Uh, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. So, like... I've, yeah, I feel like there's more, you know, there's more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Dude, dude, like, we calculated uh, how much um, a bus driver earns if he works every day. Yeah. Estimate is 15K pesos per week. Per week? Oh, Just shit. Just for driving the bus. If you drive the bus for like eight hours, like yeah. an entire school day's length, yeah, yeah. you earn... Okay, what's 15K divided by seven? 15K divided by seven? That's, a lot. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of dollars already. 15K... So, okay. Wha- okay. So, yeah. That, that's shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like... And you can take school for that, like driving bus buses. Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn, Canada got everything. Like yeah, my mom Canada wants to do that. Of, like, programs. Yeah. What that if, if ever like lot. we go there, maybe my that's something my dad can do. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it it's kind of easy because like they they don't they don't have to do something like corporate, which is like straining. Yeah. Corporate is the like the shittiest like place i don't want to go corporate <laughs> yeah, i don't yeah, corporate I don't either wanna, i don't see like I, I don't want to go down and sit on a desk and uh, wear a, 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 a polo and I, even pants man i have to wear pants yeah oh wh- what if it was like shit. a desk job but it was like nba related oh <laughs> that's tempting <laughs> like you're, but i like don't you're know. some kind of what like a like a statistician Oh yeah, statistician. I don't know because I kind of if I want to work in the NBA, I kind of like want to do some on-field work because like oh, I want to yeah. watch the games. Oh yeah, that's well, true. So. You did you did mention like wanting to like uh, be a commentator or some kind yeah, of yeah, but I don't know if that dream is still alive. I uh, mean, if I can be like a, a somewhat associated with the NBA, whether that's uh, writing or heck, even being a ball boy I'll take it <laughs> dude being a ball boy is fun though yeah you see all the ki- your close up and shit and it's like the, the guys that mop the floor man oh. I wanna do that you get free shoes oh really I think you get free shoes like you see the shoes of these uh, the ball boy or the mop boys and yeah. stuff like that it's like LeBron 16s Curry 5s it's like Yo. what the heck man I those want guys that. are vital man I know 
and I'm kind of open to like working at a champ sports too because you get perks. Champ sports is like a it's like a it's like another. Uh, Oh, what do we have here? Like a uh, Toby Titan? stuff like oh. that, kind of oh, like Toby's. that. Yeah, it's like Foot Locker Toby's. Yeah, y- yeah, shoes, Gaston. Shoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, shoes. No, I get it. I get. It. That's something actually you've been really interested in since forever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not really surprised. But I think you could pass up as something like, um, like Sir Enzo Flo. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, like yeah. an analyst or of some sort. Like people, will, people will invite you to like and be an English teacher, yeah. And like you'll sit at a round table and stuff like that, and you'll and you'll talk about the game and players and all that stuff. Yeah, that seems pretty interesting. Well, we'll see. We'll see where life takes us. Yeah. I'm just I'm just uh, working on it right now. Oh yeah. Speaking of. Anyways, how are y'all? Speaking doing? of life, yeah. I'm not sure if this word has gotten out yet, but Jethro and I are actually like working on a short film. Uh, this so hopefully. We'll start shooting by uh, later this November, but good yeah. yeah, luck, y'all. Oh, thank you. So basically, what this it's, this, this is project stuff. is, I'm not sure if you've seen. Um, it's under the stars, right? It's under it's under this the is oh under my the, god! This is from that's under the another stars, vlog, which it's is another, another vlog. vlog. <laughs> <laughs> that I still haven't released, which I will definitely. I'm I'm working on editing. Yeah, yeah. Already. So uh, to to give a little bit of a backstory, under the stars is basically. Um, of uh, an event held by the LFC in Ateneo, oh, the Loyola Film LFC. Circle. So it's what we thought it was Loyola Film Club. It's a film circle. But yeah. basically, what happens <laughs> is that everyone gathers in I Bellarmine Field <laughs> under the stars, so <laughs> in the nighttime, and we just watch movies. Like and there's food. There's food. You Shirley can. Temples. It's a great Shirley place. Temples, man. That was, yeah, yeah. That was good, dude. <laughs> It's like a great non alcoholic Shirley Temples. Yeah. It's a great place for um, couples to like do their thing. <laughs> <laughs> do no, their thing. Sh- what no, exactly? no, no. It's a friendly. Ki- oh no, you swore already. It's a friendly and wholesome event. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. It's you know, it's a place friendly. for it's a place for couples to just hang out yeah, with no each other and stuff. No alcohol or anything. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So, but, so um, one of the films that act that they show in Under the Stars is student films. Um, that were made by the members of LFC. So since Jethro and I are both members of LFC, For now. Um, we were <laughs> <laughs> we were chosen to um, well, we weren't chosen. We decided to yeah. form a team and create some magic. to create uh, some magic. Yeah, Movie magic. and um, For, <laughs> For real? And, no. And the <laughs> thing is, and the thing is, um, we are also competing against other groups. Yeah. yeah. There. This is actually like the year where there's like the most competition. Yep. We, so it's starting to look like the NBA right now. Yep. Compared to last year, um, we're not Golden State right now. <laughs> Compared. No, be the, you guys be the Jazz. Yeah. Don't but be like, the Lakers. <laughs> but like Lakers compared shorts. to compared to last year, um, I th- I think there were only two groups who entered, and we ended up being the winning team of that year. So shout out shout out to our boy Ponch. I think I really hope you're. I don't think you're listening, but he's doing well. Shout him out. Shout yeah. out anyway. Yeah, shout, shout, we'll shout you out anyway. Shout out to our boy Ponch for the being an awesome director and pull the, honestly, pulling us in to that project. So far, but last year there were only two groups. This year there are twelve. Twelve groups plus ten. Yeah, yeah. Maths. Good job. That's a lot of numbers. And the 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 scary thing is there <laughs> a lot of a lot of the directors from those twelve groups are like. Really experienced now, and yeah. a lot of them are freshmen too. So a lot of them are f- like fresh off the boat and stuff. It's a good show. <laughs> so like, I don't know. We, actually, me and Jether were sizing up our competition like before Jake arrived. Like we scouting? were scouting. Are you, yeah. you guys were scouting? Yeah, we were watching we're, some. We're checking the scouting reports. We were, <laughs> we were watching some works that were made by the by the other directors from the other teams. And I gotta say, I'm a little. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intimidated. Yeah, but like the, but they're I, not innovative though. They yeah. who would have thought of filming w- with a, with a wheel, with a wheelchair? Oh yeah, wheelchair no. fan. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no what, was that dollies? dollies? No dollies yeah, no needed. Dollies. No dollies, just a wheelchair. Just a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, a little backstory on that. Um, we actually had one shot from our entry last year, where instead of using a dolly, we just use a wheelchair, and wheelchair. we thought it was. At the time, we thought it was the most brilliant idea ever. It, it is. It still is. is. It still is. It still is. is. It looks. It looks uh, flawless. Yeah, yeah. We got a ring from it. <laughs> we we won from Champs. that. That got us the win. But anyway, Champs, check um, out the vlog. So <laughs> when I up edited. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
hopefully you guys um whatever the result comes out whatever result happens whether we win whether we lose or tie lose or tie yeah. um we will upload our short film to this channel so hey okay, it nice. will wait you got Ponch's okay, permission please. no Ponch isn't this time Ponch isn't part of it oh he's not part of your group yeah, yeah. oh he's he a competition he, oh, no. he's not entering this competition at all wait are you guys directing yeah. He's directing. I'm directing. Oh, for real? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't I told you? No. I did tell you. You didn't tell me, Jack. I <laughs> messaged the thi- I messaged the chat. I've I've been busy with school. Oh. Man. Well, why do you think I've been out of the group chat for like how yeah, long? Because been, because yeah. like I've been busy with school. Oh, that that explains why you don't reply to me. <laughs> Sh- shout Man, out to the readings. <laughs> but like, yeah. For um, so long, bro. I can't believe I didn't tell you. I no, I can't believe did. Rika knew before you did. Yeah, thanks. which is weird. <laughs> but like, okay, yeah, been, um, school's been ass. I yeah. see Rika more than you. I know. Yeah, me too. Well, I mean, co- you Most guys are not the, going to the same school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we're kind of no, dumb. But that's still weird. Yeah, yeah. But like, um, whatever happens with our short film, we're, we will upload the film to our channel. So, uh, wish us luck. I actually really have the utmost confidence in my team. I think so. I even have more confidence in my in my team than I have with myself. Because holla at me, okay? Because because <laughs> like this That's is me. this is this is really my my first like directing gig That's me, baby. of like uh, an actual like legit I like production. You. What are you saying? I got you. He's basically saying he's gonna carry your project. Oh, okay, <laughs> I I, pr- I appreciate it. Now we got you're like Magic got Johnson, other, and he's like LeBron. We got the other DOP <laughs> carrying. Oh yeah, uh, we actually we're not gonna. Reveal names of our other th- of our other team members, so just stick around for that. Yeah, we, we I have to ask though, like, okay, without naming names, are some of them from the same team as last year? Yes. Oh yeah, we got yes. veterans. Up we in actually here. have <laughs> <laughs> we got vets. We have two for uh, previous winners who were in the same team as us last year. So AKA. this is basically Utah. This is really Utah. Same yeah. winning team from last this year. Like, this is like uh, this is like the Heat after LeBron. We still got the vets. <laughs> and you got mix of young. Yeah, we got <laughs> promising young guys. Wait, so it's not the Heat. Anyway. The Lakers. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. We do have it's a the Lakers, but we don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a lot of promising yeah, like suck. young guns who are ch- trying this out for the first time. Young guns, young promising guns. <laughs> Josh Hart. So like, uh, stick around for that, please. Uh, wish us luck. Um, I'm uh, actually very, very, very stressed and nervous about this whole thing. But any form of progress, I'll take, man. Whether if it's whether it's a simple meeting with one person. Whether it's like coming up with ideas or like Bet. any kind of progress, <laughs> I'll take it. Bet. It's basically means we're inching closer and closer to achieving what we want to achieve. And <laughs> well, even though we're where a little, be. even <laughs> we may be a little, you know, behind in the race, My but that doesn't Beasley. exactly mean that we're gonna be left behind. Just because everyone's a little faster than us doesn't mean that we won't reach our destination either. Wow. In two months' time. We'll in two be months. Where we want to be. Actually, no. Exactly in, where in, we want to. in around four months' where time. Where we want to be. <laughs> where we want to. <laughs> in around four months' time is when the, the results will um, show up. So, in four yeah. months' time, there's going to be a winning Isabel block. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, regardless if we lose, we will still go to Under the Stars this year. Just for fun. You know, it's a tradition for us. This will be our third yeah, Under the Stars together. Tradition. And it's um, where, it's where yeah. shout out of, shout out of Newport shout, shout out, out to, to Newport. Newport. Yeah, Newport. Under the Stars was was the birthplace <laughs> of shout yeah. out to Newport. We should actually for yeah, anyone you are wearing the hoodie for okay. anyone who's one. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jethro's Je- wearing the hoodie. I'm not Merch. sure if you guys seen the hoodie. We'll actually <laughs> <laughs> March launching soon. Fam. If you if you want to take a look at the Newport uh, hoodie, the we'll actually leave a photo of it in the thumbnail for you guys to see. Yeah, <laughs> put in the thumbnail. We'll put it on Facebook. No, we'll we won't put it on merch. Facebook. <laughs> because of your face. And um, yeah, wish us luck. We Good luck. We look into collab off white. Any any <laughs> other, uh, any takers? <laughs> a champion? <laughs> uh, Supreme? Well, no, not Supreme. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Virgil. <laughs> you know you want some of this. <laughs> cool TV. You want some of this brand. God damn. All got, right, so yeah, that's that's sponsored that. by Gildan. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, else? this is Gildan. What else is, is happening? Gildan. See, this is quality merch, bro. <laughs> can't, can't. All deny. right, uh, let's do a quick time check right here. It is now it's 722. <laughs> it hasn't <laughs> even <laughs> been 30 minutes. Wow. I, I actually thought we were actually talking about a lot of stuff, a but lot um, of stuff I don't know. What's up with you guys? I, I named my, <laughs> I named my thing. Uh, I've been uh, during Canada. I finished, or almost 
No, I just I finished My Hero Academia. Oh yeah, yeah. You were oh, really yeah. you're really hyped up about that series. I heard Still it's great. Am. Uh, the movie's out uh, okay, the movie's tomorrow. Out. Tomorrow? Yeah, well, I Again. October 31st because I don't know when this is getting Almost uploaded, 25th. but October 31st. Let's get it. It's oh, yeah, let's tomorrow at least here in the Philippines. Yeah. So yeah. Let's let's talk about that. Um is the movie version like any different from the series or is it like is it connected uh, how, are, how are they similar or different from each other I don't know if it's canon but it's a sub story that was made mm. into ah. a movie oh I feel um, like it's gonna be like a Naruto thing cause uh. it's like a how is this uh, in, in the TV show uh, All Might is supposed to take a trip now you guys know All Might you guys you watched the first yeah. uh, I watched episode. the first two episodes yeah so yeah, same, same yeah, he's basically supposed to take a trip and I think he's bringing Deku along I think uh. he's going to I'm not sure where he's going but I think it's the States because he had because wow. you know All Might is like I think he studied in the States um, <laughs> like after cool. UA so he's gonna meet up with his friend David Shield who's a Nobel Peace Prize winner what and his daughter <laughs> Melissa Shield that that's, that's all I know so far pretty interesting from UA to USA and Godzilla's <laughs> in, the, in the movie <laughs> Godzilla? Godzilla? Godzilla, quote unquote, Godzilla. quotations is in oh, the I movie. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Godzilla. No, but Godzilla's in the movie. Okay, if you yeah. Google you, uh, My Hero Academia Godzilla, <laughs> something's gonna I pop. I shall Google it now. Shout out to Actually, Godzilla. No, it's uh, Godzilla in Jin Kazama's uh, fighting robes. Or no, Steve Fox's fighting robes. Bro. You know, Steve Fox is like uh, in those long warm up boxer yeah. jackets. Those yeah, boxers. it's Godzilla. Oh, damn. <laughs> like that. <laughs> he has a different name. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, is, there is there any other interesting movie that you guys have seen like recently? Hey, mm. I just wanted to take one good look. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> a Star is Born. Star is Born. Oh, dude, I, oh, I have you seen it. A Star is Born? Really we can't really talk about it because you no, haven't no, watched no, it. You can talk. No, about we don't want to spoil it. Yeah, we don't. But no, no, it's, a, it's a pretty. It's a drama and like I it's know. a pretty intense movie that I think you should watch like for yourself. I think I my my dad said like I it's a uh, it's mostly dialogue. So yeah. you think you'd fall asleep, but, but nah, man, really? it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Yeah, it keeps you what awake for this. It's you super. It gets. It's super like like heartwarming, and at the same wow. time, it's pattern gut wrenching too. Never expected that from Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our lady, and oh, he Lady directed Gaga too. Yeah, he Lady Gaga, it. and he produced it. Oh, and Lady Gaga's Lady debut Gaga, as man. an actress. She's. I really? thought she was amazing. Cause like uh, when my parents said the first thing, uh, my, yeah. what my parents said is like it's like she was playing herself. So yeah. it didn't feel oh, it yeah, didn't yeah, feel yeah, yeah. like yeah. abnormal. Oh, that's yeah. cool. You should def- you should definitely watch it. We don't we won't we won't go full oh, into detail should, about should. just want to take I'm, one I'm good look at I you. really <laughs> like the soundtrack. The yeah. soundtrack is like there I was something I got goosebumps. Wait, does Bradley Cooper sing? Yes. It's his real voice. Yeah. What the f- He has a really nice like country voice. It's <laughs> <laughs> the big show. <laughs> 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 no. No but place like for um, a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely recommend you know Stars Born because you know we have to watch it for for class. <laughs> you have to watch it for class. We actually have to watch it. That's for class. such a good assignment. Yeah. Wow. It, I thought the movie was like gonna be. It was worth it. It was worth the money. It was definitely worth it. I, I even if I watched it by myself, because like did you watch it by yourself? I did watch it by myself. Same oh, here, cool, actually. Oh really? Yeah. Like, like it was. I watched why? it on a day when I had no classes, so I was like, eh, I don't really want to. Sp- I don't really want to. Sit on my ass at home, so I'm really glad I made the decision to watch that film because it was amazing. You know, how, uh, you know how good a film is. Like, okay, so I went to the theater, yeah. um, and I, I, I was by myself. And these group of people, they they came in, they're all laughing, they're all smiling. Yeah. By the time the movie ended, they were crying, man. Really? They were speechless, oh bro. my god! Yeah, you, what can't, the hell? you can't, you can't compare, man. The, I, I got like, full on goosebumps, like tell all, me something. all throughout. It was like. If you're if you're a sucker for like a good story, then I can't believe it. And like really good music, then you should definitely check it out. God damn, yeah. that's so weird. Well, I, I wouldn't expect that from like that kind of you know kind of trailer, the kind of film. The ba- the okay. theme is basically rise and fall. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, I thought so. it was like a rom. No, it's it there's there's a lot of yeah, yeah. there's, there's, a, lot there's of a lot of romance definitely involved, but. It's yeah, it's it's, it's a really rise and fall romance. kind of. Don't, oh, okay. bring, don't bring your kids though. There's a lot of swearing and a lot of uh, there's some nudity in there. So please. and yeah, not Bradley Cooper though. So. Ah damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what else is? Uh, what else? Well, uh, y- y'all to... y'all been in the K-pop though, so this is something I can't relate to. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, about Korea that. Boo. Yeah, Korea boost. Oh yeah, we were supposed to. 
Oh yeah, we were another thing we forgot to upload. It a was react our, video, our reaction yeah. video to Blackpink's collab with Dua Lipa. It's okay. OSN uh, uploads late anyway. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he does. Oh, like yeah, he, but he gets views. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Is OSN, is OSN even active? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we really wanted to release the black, the Dua Lipa Blackpink uh, reaction uh, to their collab video, but someone. Um, forgot to edit. Forgot to edit. Uh, props to him though. Uh, he got uploaded a Joji video. Yeah, got yeah. Him. I think <laughs> that. Oh, but Joji did launch a new music video though. Oh yeah, oh, he yeah. did. He launched Ballast One. Have you guys checked it? I actually haven't seen it yet. Uh, yeah, I I saw the the new the music video. The new music video. Thirty six k views. Man, I feel I felt like the the one I reacted to was like the least likable. Test drive. Out of the four that he released, like the first one, was slow it the dancing? first one? Yeah, slow dancing is such a fucking bop, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of um, speaking top. of K-pop, um, what th- what's happened in K-pop news? Uh, <coughs> we haven't really. Co- was Hyuna already <laughs> kicked out? In oh yeah, August? oh yeah. Let's let's talk let's talk about that. Let's talk about um. Oh. The Hyuna Edon scandal yeah, okay. thing. Well, I'm not really like, <coughs> you know, I'm not really versed in Cube entertainment. Oh, I am, <laughs> cause like, Pentagon was like, it, it, they're very s- special oh, yeah. to me, cause like they were my first boy group. <laughs> yeah, they were your first boy. Group. They were, they were my first. Boy I didn't even know like, Edon. Yeah, Edon was part of like Pentagon. I yeah, I actually was, knew like, that Edon. I actually knew about Edon and Hui. Like from Triple H first before Pentagon. So were they were they Triple H first and then they Pentagon? Were, they were Pentagon first. They started off as Pentagon. Oh, and then, and they, then they did a sub with Hyuna. And then Triple, Triple H, H has Hyuna in it. Yes. Oh, okay. And it's very special too because Triple H was my very second group ever. Wait, you were standing Triple H. Yes. But you didn't know that Idan and Hyuna were a thing, or they were already a thing. I I like knew. When I was like looking them up, really, or, or like yeah, because so that, that news came out very. Actually? The news of that came out very recently, actually, that they were that they were publicly dating. Publicly dating. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Wait. it took. I feel. I felt like it took Cube a while for them to like to kick them. Oh yeah, out. that's true. I got into Triple H. I think it was like, but around July. Around and then, July, and, and then that the, was the Cube like news about it like. Started coming yeah. around September. September, right? Which is weird. And then the final verdict came out October. So I'm like, what the hell? That's weird. So but yeah, July, they were already a thing. By July, yeah, I'm pretty sure. But they was actually, it, was they, it public? Was it public? They, no, was it, it, it was public. They made oh, it public okay. that they were dating for two years. In July. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's weird. when they made it public. But like, let's yeah, yeah. let's hear your your thoughts. Um, I mean, I know you're not into. Yeah, I'm not. I know you're not into K-pop, but I, I want to. I want to hear your your thoughts from an outsider. Like, um, what are your thoughts on idols like not being allowed to date and like suffering the consequences from it? Okay, th- I can somewhat relate because right. uh, I've been in the not K-pop but Love Live, yeah, like yeah. Seiyus, oh, all yeah. of that. It's oh the same. Gosh, nice. It's same stuff, man. Uh, okay, if there's one thing I can relate, like. A lot of love livers, that's what the fan base is called. They yes. lost their minds when one of the seiyus was supposedly engaged. Like, they got mad, man. Oh. They, they got mad. And um, basically, any inter uh, intercourse, whether that's like wholesome or uh, yeah. fling, triple X, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's it's a big no no. Like, there was oh. one, another scandal, though, was uh, one, the, one of the main. Voice actress, yeah. uh, a voice. So one of the main seiyus or voice actresses of Love Live was supposedly caught filming a porno, what? um, before her Love Live career. But, uh, oh, but that, okay. I mean, That's looking if it's true, it's kind of understandable. Like, yeah. I mean, she needed the money, yeah. and stuff like that. She but never knows that she'd become a Love Live. Yeah, exactly. And you know, at the time, maybe she was in the time that she needed yeah. money. So we, I, I don't know. For me. I kind of find that rule a bit dumb. Yeah, yeah like same. you can't really like date, but you know, it. But I guess it's also like for security in the sense because you know if you you know how it is, naman eh. I mean, think about it, like like us friends though. Like we have we have we have some friends who are dating each other, mm-hmm. uh, and if you notice that they te- during oh, yeah. hangouts if they're together they tend to stray away from the group, and yeah. I think that's why 
in yeah, the sense I have because that. if 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 you're caught dating, you might yeah. start straying away from like the the group and focus more on on yeah. your career de- with the other person. Yeah, I definitely oh, understand okay. it from like a quote unquote business perspective. Like I understand that their bosses yeah, or true. their higher ups or managers, whoever they don't, they want them to be fully like focused on their music and yeah. like their their group. But then at the same time, it's like I read some comments wherein like not like not allowing them to interact or like I guess date other yeah. idols is like it takes away like um it takes away like their their feeling of like still being young and like Oh, being yeah, able to like true. do what they want to do because I know of some it, they have they somewhat because they have like an image to maintain yeah, yeah. they haven't they have an image to maintain and yeah, like um uh I know there's some idols out there who haven't really been in any relationship and they do want to like um know what it feels like but then they can't because their companies forbid it but yeah, that's weird. but another thing at the same time is like um the fans reactions to it is like there's also big uh, fan, a big number of fans out there who are supporting it, right? Who yeah. support the the ban of it? Yeah, really? I can understand why. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, I thought, like be more against. Like it. as I mentioned, uh, I mean, it's I think it's like half and half. Like as I mentioned a while ago, like yeah. a lot of love livers lost their 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 heads when, when one of the voice actresses yeah. was supposedly engaged. Yeah, so and a lot of people lost their minds when they found out that Edon and Hyuna were dating. Yeah. Uh, oh, it, it's a yeah, it's a true. dumb controversy, but it I can is. understand it from a business perspective in a way, as yeah. Gaston said. But at the same time, it's also uh, it why? is a weird controversy. But I'm not sure if like they were like uh, making a big fuss about it because they were supporting them or if they were against them dating. It's a it's a fifty fifty side. Yeah, usually yeah. there's a lot of people who hate it, and there's a lot of people who support it. Yeah. It there, just so happens that's about that the, for me. That's about yeah. as. That's about as toxic as the fan base gets. Yeah, yeah I, I hate to because keep up fan in a, base. In a way, oh, yeah, in a way, true. like, in a way, like, not wanting your idols to date, it's it in a it in a way like you don't There's, you don't want them you don't want to see them happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. True. Kinda, you know what I mean? It's like it kind of restricts their freedom. As yeah. Well. So, so like, oh, it sucks. Well, and he, and like, go? there's some. I know YG. Like, oh yeah. YG even forbids their idols from even what? interacting. Like not even just not just dating but just hanging out with each other. That's true. Which is And they also have like dating bans and contract. It's it's part of their contract yeah. they, they, that they're not allowed to date for like a certain time. I think another thing that also applies to this is like body art. Like body some art? like some like can you imagine like let's say if Jong Yeon got a tattoo? Can oh, you know? Yeah. Do you know how much controversy that would that would, that would hit? I know a few idols who have tattoos. Yeah, but eventually, when they move on to their later stage in the career. But right now, like you see twice. Okay, I don't I don't really know much about K-pop, but yeah. all I know is that if you <clears throat> if if a band like Twice, even Blackpink, if, yeah, they, get tattoos, if they get tattoos, it the internet's gonna go ham on them. Even really, the, yeah, I feel because like Korea's gonna go ham. Yeah, on there's them. they have an image to maintain. It's not like Hyuna, who like uh. Like has a lot of tattoos, but nobody really cares because at at this point oh, yeah, she's kind yeah, yeah, of like true. established herself as like a I don't know, as a proper artist. Yeah, I mean she was part of a group before. If I remember. yeah oh yeah definitely Hyuna is more like they kind of like there. have I feel like they kind of like have to reach a certain stage and then they start mm, getting definitely tattoos. yeah yeah for sure oh yeah that's also a factor in Korean artists like you need to be like mature enough for it. Yeah, you look like, at like Hyuna's already like thirty plus already. Yeah, you, you compare Big Bang's photos oh, when they yeah. first started to how they look. Definitely. You look at GD now or something oh, yeah. like that. It's I totally when different. When GD first had his tattoo, everyone was like losing their mind. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it it, it yeah. they. Body art is like something that can trigger a lot of Korean people yeah. for some reason. On artists, like they, if you, if there's body art on an artist, a lot of people get mad. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the dating thing as well. Yeah, I just that's new. I, I guess it mainly. I never really like. Yeah, fun yeah. fact. I never really knew anything about. Yeah, oh, Jay got a text message. Got a text message. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, and then there's that whole thing about Yun and Edon like. Getting kicked out of their agency. No, Johnson's for, asking you for it. Okay, yeah. Anyway, about Kiona and Edon yeah. like getting kicked out of their agency for yeah, dating. For, 
that's so and at the, and at the same time, it's like it feels like I think they're happy to be kicked out. Well, yeah. I wouldn't say they're happy, but like, <laughs> but they I feel like it. yeah, it. I feel like to them, it's like a big weight off their yeah. shoulders. Yeah, because Yana's already a big name in the K-pop industry. Yeah, like, they. She even like uh, put a picture of them publicly on Instagram. As oh, I think really? as like a big like middle finger to Cube is like fine, we'll we'll leave. We're happy with each other anyway. Blah blah blah. Yeah, to be honest, Cube, that was a big mistake from Cube. Well, okay, they're, they're both like they're both figures that are already big in K-pop. Like, so that's where it is. Those, okay, sorry, sorry. Those I found my already. band. Oh yeah, I was supposed to. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I oh, borrowed yeah, it during the Halloween costume. Oh yeah, I, I borrowed his I Promise band. Anyway. I didn't even notice. Holy hell! Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, what were we talking about? Uh, Cube messing up. I don't even yeah, know who Cube up. is. But. Oh yeah, I guess um, that yeah that um that separates like the whole why they're idols and not called musicians because uh. they have to appeal to like yeah go they have to appeal to um a certain like. They have to appeal to the masses more, or like what the Korean uh, public wants them to be. Like, I feel just like just idols. Yeah, Korea. Like, I feel like in Korea it's more conservative. Oh, yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah, that's true. oh yeah. for sure. Yeah. Also, it, like from like Asian Asian, Asian idols, culture. like Japan's very conservative yeah. for sure. Also, like um, this is like from my Say own. Say it to se- This is from my own sel- uh, selfish or uh, personal reasons, but like. I'm really sad that Edon got kicked out because he's not gonna be. I don't think he'll be like active with Pentagon anymore, and that just makes me sad. Because like Pentagon, I mentioned earlier, was is a special group to me because they are one of my first. I think that they were one of my first five really? like groups, and like I knew I knew Pentagon as ten members, not as less than 10 <laughs> so like for them for them to continue on as less than 10 is just like really sad for me but like at the same time I should be I, I should be happy I guess for Edan because um, he's, he's not he's not under the, the same toxic management that he was previously under so he, he's finally like free from their clutches or whatever but it had to be for the sake of their band I'm not really know what's gonna happen now, but uh, best of luck to them. I really hope Edan, that they. Like, uh, the leader. Edan's. Pentagon no, or he's just a huge chunk of Pentagon. Yeah, he's a big part. He's one of their three. He's one of their three rappers. Oh wow. So that's kind of a loss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's with Hyuna. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what they're. I think they're gonna go to a he's different company. With I'm Hiana not sure. Fam. I'm not sure if they're gonna go to another company or if they're gonna. Oh, definitely. What are I they gonna like do? They're already getting recruited by a lot. Because if you think about it, like, in a way, somewhat in a way, the the artist has leverage. Yeah, yeah, Because, like, the artists make the company. If you think about it. Yeah, they do. And as as controlling as the company likes to be to the artist, the artists are the one who actually go out there and perform. Yeah, artists. The fans are towards... The, yeah. artist, the artist, not the company. company. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Artists have artists have their have like their own like I guess level of control as well. So they yeah. have probably just as much say as well, not as much say, but they have some say in what the company like dictates for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> that, that, wow. We got into detail on that one, guys. <laughs> Are you still with us? <laughs> uh, okay. What else happened over this week? <laughs> you want to talk about Ali's party? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just last Saturday. Was it Saturday? Yeah. It was Saturday. It yeah. was Saturday. Last Saturday, our dear friend Ali. Shout out to you, Ali, for watching. Ali Flavored on Instagram, Twitter, maybe even YouTube. Yeah. Follow, um, follow she, at Ali Fronda. I think <laughs> Ali Flavored. I just, Ali Flavored. Yeah. Ali Flavored. We, Ali she flavored. recently invited us to a Halloween party at her condo, which was, subscribe to Ali. Which was pretty fun, actually. Um, Sub to Ali. Yeah. Um, how did you guys like the party? Given I, I, given your case, first of all, Jethro, because I know you and I were kind of in a similar boat in a sense <laughs> yeah. that we didn't really know a lot of yeah. people there. <laughs> we, we, we knew like a handful of people. Yeah. We, was, we probably knew like what? A literally third, just... A third or a fourth of the people literally there. Literally just the Hub and Johnson and Michelle. And Hi, Marks. Michelle. And Angel. Oh, and Angel, yeah. Yeah, yeah and Angel. Akatsuki kids. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. 
But like everyone you, else, you, like, Angel, and Simon were Akatsuki. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. but like other than them, like who the hell were these people? <laughs> no, nope. Ethan. But yeah, Ethan. You were, oh yeah, there's some like people, people were supposed to know. <laughs> yeah, there's some so people there who apparently go to Ateneo, but like I've never met them ever. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen them as well. But like it's I, either Ateneo like, or uh, Kalayaan College, which is Ali. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we should. Yeah, Kalayaan College. Okay, we'll yeah. just edit that. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> But like yeah, it was it was pretty fun honestly. Like watching horror movies was was the was the thing that stood out I guess for me cuz like I really hate horror movies. Like I'm such a giant wuss. But like watching it Halloween there, is out by the way if you want to watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, there's a remake. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's really? like like have you watched You know it? how people are saying it was good last year? Yeah. Halloween is that this year. Oh wow. And then, oh, boy shit. Michael Myers baby, let's get it. it. Actually no. I haven't watched watched it it yet because it just launched like uh, this week. But like the the experience of watching horror movies like around (coughs) all those people and it it felt kind of different in the sense that I didn't feel too too scared. You know why? Why? Because we were too busy having a lot of fish and chips, mate. (laughs) 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 We were eating a lot of fish and chips, mate, with a biscuit and crackers. We'll explain (laughs) a a little context behind what Jake just said. Um, We watched Conjuring 2 and for those who have seen Conjuring 2, you know that the that the good actors movie, are British. Good. British. And it us, was in England. It was set it in England. England. And us being the super <laughs> racist. Super racist and like <laughs> super like mean, assholic, really. like not immature. Not intentionally though. Immature yeah. fools. It's all in good fun. Yeah. Yeah, we were it was, we were just poking fun at um British stereotypes. At British stereotypes. And I <laughs> I have <laughs> I don't think I have laughed as hard as I did during a horror movie ever. <laughs> And The Conjuring too. That probably lessened the the pain. Did you guys yeah. watch? The, the, you guys saw the nun scene though, right? I did see the yeah. nun scene. That was, was that was crazy. But like it all made up for. It. I was able, I I fortunately was able to sleep at night. So nice. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't. We also watched Nightmare on Elm Street. And I gotta say, surprisingly, you were able to sleep at night. Yeah, yeah. I was. Too. Actually, no. I will admit wow. this. The night I went home from that party, I slept. With my parents. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, because of the nightmare of Elm Yes. Dude, it, I, don't I know. didn't want to die in my sleep family. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> no. I, didn't, I didn't want my mom to wake but up and like there's like all blood and shit. It's I like, mean, it is the remake, but then you have to remember that if you, this is your first time seeing Freddy Krueger, oh, good true. or bad movie, you're gonna get yeah, like traumatized for sure. Yeah. I mean, another thing that helped was that the thing that I could, the only thing I could think of while watching Nightmare on Elm Street was the Simpsons version of it which was a version that I saw like when I was really young yeah it was like super long ago it was a treehouse of horror and they did uh, their own version of Nightmare on Elm Street and um, I don't I don't know how many times I've seen that but like it's just a, such a part of my childhood so I could see all the parallelisms and it was like oh shit I saw that in the Simpsons it's the same thing that happened during the Simpsons in the Simpsons thing so yeah that, that, that came into play I uh, guess you know the controversy surrounding The Simpsons, though, right now. Oh, Ooh, which one? I have no they, idea. they, they, they removed Apu. Apu. What? Yeah, they the, like the, the Indian dude. Yeah, they took out Apu because Why? I think there were a lot of like angry SJWs. Oh, wow. I think. that explains this post I just saw. Yeah, a lot of people. Shit. A lot of people are like uh, upset because like Apu got removed from I The did, Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah, I did hear about this documentary. Yeah. That about the mis- misrepresentation of Apu. In the Simpsons or something like that. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if it's a documentary or like a. I think it was a short it's documentary, a short. but like. Oh, okay. Why? Why? That's stupid. I don't. Apu is yeah. like iconic. Yeah, and I, is Apu iconic. is like one of the most beloved characters on TV. Yeah, he's like. Thank you. Come again. He's like you. Ah, I don't is know what it, to say. SJWs are ruining the world. Man. I know they are like, ruining we, the world. We can't have fun anymore. But then again, it's just everything that long. They have something to be offended yeah, yeah. by and shit. I'm offended. <laughs> it is kind of like a I don't know. Like it's affected Star Wars. Yeah, it's it affected, has affected uh, Star Wars so much. Yeah. It's like this is why Star Wars is horrible. <laughs> I know, man. It's, how are they? How is Episode Nine gonna redeem that? Yeah. I don't no, know. No, no. My issue with Star Wars Episode Eight. I mean, at first time I saw, it, I was like, "Wow, it's really good." And the second yeah. time I watched it, I was like, "Yeah, it kind of sucks." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but but I think the issue here are the couple of issues I have like with Episode Eight um, or like the new new trilogy. Yeah. 
the writing of episode eight was terrible. It like was. practically Finn's Finn and Rose's arc did not e- wasn't even needed in the yeah. story, and it didn't make sense. Yeah, oh, the the, the Ray Kylo Ren scenes were okay. They're, they're yeah, weird, they were. But they were okay. Yeah, my <laughs> God. Uh, Holdo God. Holdo's plan did not make sense. Yeah, Holdo's pretty dumb. Yeah, oh, it's dumb. So I guess in Hold that dumb. sense, it was poorly written. Like the ca- some scenes were poorly Their written. Were pretty dumb. Also, like yeah, Luke, Luke, like you know, you know the memes of like on you know the memes on uh, yeah. Facebook, like oh I can't like episode six I can't kill my father. There's too much good in him. And then uh, and then episode eight this Kylo's having a bad dream. I gotta kill him. Yeah, like, what the heck, man? Like, that's not Luke. And do you remember like Luke like, drinking the blue milk? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. That wasn't needed, bro. I haven't, I haven't seen Star Wars eight. So. You have what? I haven't seen legit. They, they, don't, go, don't, you don't, don't need. To, I mean, oh if you want to, if you want to have like some fun time with memes, go ahead, man. But don't. Like, yeah, I probably don't. You're so lucky. Off. I probably don't plan to. Dude, thank God. Like, don't. Oh this. shit! You know what movie uh, that I watched recently? What? Requiem for a Dream. Have you guys oh. heard of Requiem for a Dream? <laughs> yeah, Requiem for a I, Dream. I, I always thought it was a song, I think but apparently it's a, a movie. Yeah. A song. Song. Yeah. But like, <laughs> in the <soundtrack, laughs> Requiem for a Dream was another movie I had to watch for class, really? and I gotta say it was quite a journey. It was depressing. it was a journey to say the least. <laughs> Have you guys seen it? Yeah, well, I'm Requiem. saying the song, <laughs> but the movie. Yeah, I've seen it. Shit. Don't do drugs, kids, or, or else that's gonna happen to you. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't really wanna. I won't really go into detail like, about you, while, Requiem. While I was in a calm phase, that was like one of the, <laughs> the movies that I wanted to see. And I finally saw it. It was really depressing. It was, dude. The ending. Yeah, and the ending. The and ending the was like... It, it was full on like depressing Full on like blue. torture before your eyes and shit. It was yeah. like, damn. Uh, if we're going old movies, I watched Dead Poet Society. Ooh, Ooh I've always wanted one. to watch that. Carpe Diem, boys. Carpe, Carpe Diem. Diem. I watched Carpe that while I was in never, Seattle. I, I was trying to sleep it. at night. Didn't, weren't we shown like clips before? Oh yeah, we were we were shown, on and you can contribute a verse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do remember yeah. seeing that clip in high school, but I haven't actually seen the oh, full yeah. movie. Oh yeah, it's the it's it's uh it's it's quite a journey as well. Really? Yeah. yeah. Does Rest it get depressing or not? Yeah. Oh, it gets really? it gets pretty heavy. Like yeah. I did not know. Oh, that. captain, my captain. <laughs> <laughs> Jake I just stood on the chair. Oh, the ending though. Shit. I didn't know that Rest it gets pe- really heavy. Rest in peace to Robin yeah. Williams, man. What a one of the greatest treasures that we lost in this past generation. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I, I want to go back to the, the topic of Apu. Yeah. It's like, it does... It, to, to take someone out who's been a part of something that's... For so long. For so long, yeah. It's just... It, it, it'll never be the same. Yeah. That's, the, that's the main, like, problem I have with things like this is... Going back to the topic of Edon, like, leaving Pentagon. Like, Pentagon will never be the same. If Eden's not there, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah look at the Same caps. thing applies with the Simpsons. They already lost Mrs. Krabappel. <laughs> and the caps. And they what? Were, they already lost Mrs. Krabappel because her voice actress died. Oh. oh. Okay. Also, Maud Flanders, I think, because her character. So how died. they? How were they written off? I don't remember. I don't remember. But like, <laughs> Apu. This but is a stupid reason to kick Apu off. Like, what the hell? Their voice actors died, but how how do they how will they manage to write in Princess Leia? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the thing because like they they're not gonna use CG. Yeah, like what? How? They're not using CG. I don't know. That's that's they're, another. They're gonna use all the remaining clips of Carrie Fisher. Damn. Dao. Yeah. That's a oh shit. That's that's weird. like oh, that's weird. This makes me sad. I'm look. I'm reading. I I have it here on Google right now. It's just like uh. Yeah, it sucks. It doesn't feel good. Actually, is it confirmed? It's confirmed. Oh shit! Uh, f- uh, Fox, I think, is the one who runs really? The Simpsons. Yeah, they they mm. wrote him well, up already. The Simpsons is dying. Anyway. It is. It's been dying for a while, and this yeah, was yeah. this is probably like the last straw. Yeah, I feel like honestly, they'll cancel off soon. I feel like okay, this is the optimist in me speaking. I feel like um, there will be some effort from the fans and like the the community yeah. to like have them change that decision. I feel like Simpsons has been going on for what twenty years. Like, there has to be some kind of revolution towards this. Yeah. You know, you know what would like really get under their skin if Apu is replaced by like a white 
Oh, or like a, or like that a, sucks. Or, or, or yellow. Yeah. <laughs> yellow. Like a yellow Asian yellow yeah. guy. Like you can't. You, you can't. You can't replace Apu, dude. You can't replace Apu with... And who's going to man the Quickie Mart? Who's going to say thank you? Come again. <laughs> who's going to man the Quickie Mart? Some white guy? Like Probably. some redneck or whatever? Like comic book guy, dude. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> comic <laughs> book guy. I love comic book guy. They should just kill it off. They should just kill off the Simpsons now. It is. Like, yeah. But I don't know, man. I, I, I've also yeah. I've also heard some like from unreliable sources that The Simpsons is actually being funny again. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure about. But that. I haven't seen. This, but this is this is probably gonna end it. Yeah. Or yeah. I don't know. I jinx everything I do. So <laughs> I just I just hope that it ends soon while it still has a dignified run. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's been going on for like a solid uh, 28 like, years. 28. I, th- years? I think since 1990 is when it like, Holy was starting to originate. Someone kill this thing. No, end it at 30. Try to oh, end yeah, it at 30. They'll end it at 30. Yeah. Season 30. <laughs> Survivor's been going longer. No, uh, <laughs> you don't talk about that. Fine. <laughs> Joke. There's another uh, Scott Pollard cartoon that died. Uh, Adventure, Which one? Time? Adventure Time. Adventure guys, Time. Do you guys know about Adventure Time? I've come Adventure along time, like, coming to an end. Me. Yeah. It's just like it, what an ending. A lot of people. I, I actually I haven't, haven't watched it either, it but I know yet. a lot of people like love the ending. Really? Did you see the bubbling? The bubbling oh, scene. Oh yeah, yeah oh, the definitely. bubbling I haven't scene. seen. I only seen that scene, but people were like, I I feel like people were kind of half and half about it. Like people liked the bubbling, but then oh yeah, like how they started the episode was weird. I don't know. I mean, it's only a matter of time before like other like classic cartoons get are gonna <laughs> die. Are gonna die. Like take SpongeBob for example. When like, you think I hope they die. kill off SpongeBob already. But Speak. oh yeah, SpongeBob's not even SpongeBob's not what it used to be. Yeah, it no. is. Fairly Odd Parents isn't, isn't what it used to be. They, they're still Fairly Odd. They're parents. still Fairly I, Odd Parents. No, but they didn't like the. It, Timmy's not there anymore, right? He's not. He's no, not. It's it's a girl. You didn't no. know. Timmy's still there, but like God yeah, damn. the girl is his neighbor. She's yeah, also is, isn't she like SJW? Like she replaced. She replaced. Agenda him? is too strong. Yeah, isn't Timmy replaced? Sorry. I don't, know. I don't think so. No offense. There's nothing that says here. Anyways, uh, speaking of more canceled things, uh, Luke Cage and uh, oh. Iron Fist were canceled. Oh, yeah, I heard. But I read I about that. Oh, I saw there's the a lot of Marvel. I saw the memes. And, and people are like, Jessica Jones is next. I saw the memes of that. It was like the Infinity War but thing. But don't they suck? Like, I know. They're good. I know. Uh, I know Iron, Iron Fist, Fist sucks. sucks. Oh, okay. But I, wrote, I wasn't really invested in those shows anyway. Because yeah. like they're not really in the same universe. Technically, they're not really in the same universe as the MCU. I mean, they experience yeah, they're, they're like not really. they 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 experience the same effects, I guess. But yeah, but it's like low budget Marvel. I just know that people are freaking out because they're like, you better not cancel Daredevil, man. Because really? people love Daredevil. Yeah, be- yeah. Daredevil is the best Daredevil. running one out of the four defenders. I guess they're just killing off the shitty ones. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I tried to I tried to watch season one of the Defenders. It, it just didn't hit the, me. That, that was the worst. That was the worst one of everything. Yeah, I yeah. kind of wanted really? to like see the like culmination of all four of them, but I should have watched the the four. Oh, the Defenders. I thought the you defenders. were talking. I thought I thought of Inhumans. Oh, Inhumans oh, was Inhumans horrible. Was, yeah. I read it. I read it. Is Inhumans, Inhumans well. a TV series or yeah. a movie? It Inhumans a is a series. series. That was pretty bad. Ew. Yeah. And it's I, Marvel, right? Yeah. I read the comments and they're like, uh, I probably shouldn't bother Isn't watching. Isn't DC it. having like a counterpart to that? The new Teen Titans movie? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a movie or series? But I think it's, it's a, a series. Right? It's a series. It's a series. You know and what's a really, you know what's a really good Marvel show though yeah. that I recently got into? It's called The Gifted. <laughs> the the gifted. gifted. Season two just came out. The I think gifted? I, it sounds familiar. Uh, three weeks ago. It's about mutants. It's a mutant. Oh, it's okay. About mutants. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I had a feeling. I think this is like post X Men era. Oh, Wait, this is Marvel. Yeah. N- like, uh, was that Fox? No, it's not Fox, Fox right? It is on. It is in Fox. Sony. Mm. Fox. Yeah. But like, yeah, Fox. gifted. Twentieth century Fox. Yeah. Wait, what? Is it under twenty? Like Marvel, Disney Marvel, or twentieth century Fox Marvel? It's. Oh no, it's mutants. So it's probably twentieth twentieth century Fox. I, it's a. TV show? Yeah, okay, anyway. It's a go. TV show. But Basta, it's in Fox it's Network. Good. It's okay, good. then there is 20th yeah. Century Fox. Oh, okay, is it good? There we is go. it good? It's good to me. Like, I, I was hooked. I binge watched season one. I think when the trailers were already, like, showing up, they were like, oh, another Inhumans. <laughs> <laughs> no, honest, honestly, I think The Gifted is very underappreciated. Like, okay. there are some people, there, there is, a, like, a fan base of it. It's yeah. kind of small. Though. Are you guys, do you guys want to, well, when it comes out, you guys want to watch The New Mutants? 
Oh, Ooh, I heard that was scary. It is a scary X Men movie. It's a scary. It's a X-Men? scary X Men movie. Yeah. Dude, that sounds lit. Bro. Yeah, I it think is. it has something yeah. to do with like men, like asylums or something. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, I don't know. I think a person you might know is there. She's from. Oh yeah, no, sorry. Arya Stark is there. Oh hey. I don't. Ooh. I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I somewhat know the Macy character. Macy Williams. Yeah. yeah. Arya Stark is there. That's oh yeah, I remember watching the trailer like long ago and I was like, oh I'm too scared to watch this. Really? I haven't I saw seen it in it. theaters, man. It's, it's pretty lit. Oh, you like saw it in theaters? The trailer? Yeah. Oh the it's trailer. scary. It's scary. Oh dude, like, that's it, so it, weird. It's it's those type of trailers, like it's all quiet and then something comes like, back and then the, the loud sound effects and I, yeah. ah, yeah. I'm actually I'm not for jump scares. I'm not for jump scares too, but because like they just make and you're just uh What's the premise? Five young mutants just new mutants. Five young yeah, mutants, mutants just discovering their abilities while held in a secret facility against their will, fight to escape their past sins and save themselves. Ooh, Seeds. magic! So it's cute. it's it's magic not the it's not the typical mutants fight bad guys. <laughs> it's not a typical <laughs> mutants fight bad guys kind of thing. It's more like we gotta fight for ourselves. We gotta get out of here. Uh, magic. There's a character named Magic. Yeah, She's the magic. sister of Colossus. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, they're gonna connect Deadpool. I'm just <laughs> they're pre- they're technically within the same universe, I think. Yeah. Well, I don't know because be the, so the timeline is so messed up. Yeah, now. it is. How are they gonna fix it? Yeah. Especially firing some important character yeah. uh, writers in Marvel. Oh my God, James Gunn. James and now, Gunn. And now, <laughs> do you know? He, do you hear? He's like he's there. There are rumors like he's directing Suicide Squad too. <laughs> yeah, I and heard Batista that. Batista wants to join. Oh hell yeah! Oh really? He should. Dude, if Batista is Bane, bro. <laughs> Oh, dude, Batista as Bane. Dude, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Wait, no, but because he's kind, because you know, is, isn't Bane like originally Mexican? I mean, yeah. Batista's not Mexican, but he's like, like, he's Pinoy. Yeah, so, he's Pinoy. so you know, <laughs> I don't know, man. For me, it's weird. We're it's like gonna Mexican be weird to see. East. It's gonna be weird to see an MCU actor in a DC universe. Well, well uh, it's like, uh, oh, okay. But that's this is like, oh, I don't know. I like it. Cause, I, th- you know, I think it's gonna it's, be. It's technically Marvel's fault for being too sensitive. Oh yeah, yeah another you, example of social see, justice yeah, warriors ruining everything. You do it's that. So you do that to James Gunn, but you don't do it to RDJ. Oh, RDJ. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, exactly. That guy actually that, did like drugs and, sh- and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, James Gunn did. Past. And I think James Gunn did his comments before. Yeah, literally he was t- ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, but like RDJ, and he already apologized for it. Yeah, yeah, that's so weird. And you have RDJ, but like RDJ's, like who literally made the Marvel Cinematic Universe yeah. right now. If you're using the same logic to fire James Gunn, you should get rid of RDJ. Yeah, I mean but he's he's covered on every angle, so that's not gonna happen. Yeah, that's but what, James Gunn yeah. made good. Wait, like, yeah, what the hell, man? These, Come on, it's so stupid. I know Marvel's doing some stupid stuff. And are, you guys looking, are you guys looking? <laughs> yeah, I I want DC to rise. I want it to be like an equal yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah. Because it's always been like Marvel Marvel toppling down on DC. Yeah, Marvel's killing on it movies. with the movies. On, on movies, oh, yeah, definitely. On the movies. DC TV shows are the ones that are like hella really good. good. Oh, yeah. I see. And the games. Oh, Ex- yeah, definitely. Un- until, Sp- until Spider-Man. Oh, oh, until Spider-Man. Until <laughs> Spider-Man. But then, I mean, one Spider. I don't know if one Spider-Man can topple a lot of Arkham games. Oh, has it already? No, hell no. I don't think so. Like, can so they Arkham topple games, Arkham Asylum? Hell no. Nah. Arkham Asylum, like, made uh, Super the superhero game. games. Man. Yeah. And then you also have the fighting games. Yeah. Like, exactly. Injustice. Mortal Kombat. Injustice. Versus DC. Marvel vs. Capcom. Capcom. Marvel vs. Capcom is okay, but then... I had, fun, I, I had fun playing it. Yeah. In your house. <laughs> Wait, what? I remember when, we, when you lived <laughs> in your old unit in Eastwood that was one of the games that you would pop up was that oh, you? Yeah, I think like during high school you guys were like really yeah was it no wasn't that Mugen? no the, I remember in I high there school there were a lot of like fighting games yeah, but I know WWE is still the best fighting oh, game hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, like the old WWE games oh dude Wait, which one like, like Smackdown versus Raw oh, oh dude, those God, I remember those my life I think great. my sister was a fan of those. That was fantastic. Those were the true peak WWE games. Yeah. Imagine if you had like that game and then you just put the character customizations of the day there. Oh yeah. my goodness. And That's, the graphics. Yeah, the graphics. Because 2K can't do anything right. 
Two K is not gonna do anything. Two right K is basically just focusing on NBA. Yeah, and Two K is just focusing on like getting as much money as possible. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I freaking. Hell. While we're is on there the a Two K nineteen already for WWE? Yes, but it's not buying. And they they may I think at that point they just I think at this point they just gave up because like you can already have like. Minecraft bodies and like really? and large heads and <laughs> that's dumb. and that's dumb and like Triple H just has a zombie costume <laughs> at this point. So. <laughs> yeah, they 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 really made it like see, stupid. See, it doesn't also, have direction. Also, the ratings are really bad. Really like bad. of the of the superstars, they're really really bad. Oh, I see. They're, they're bad. Jeez. Mm-hmm. It's not All right, let's do another time check, guys. It is now 8.02. Oh, it's been an hour. It oh, has wow. been an hour. We That's have okay. another hour to go. No, <laughs> we have another hour to go, but Carlos is going here. Yeah, Carlos. Oh, Carlos going. coming? Yeah, Carlos, Carlos here. Coming. Oh, shit. AKA Waffles. We still have to do like uh, wait, wait, wait. food Waffles food reviews. Well, All right. So um, for those of you who don't remember who Carlo is, Carlo is the... Tonkatsu broth. Yeah. Carlo is the Tonkatsu broth guy. If you've watched... Um, Mark's Mark's birthday Mark's Mark's birthday birthday vlog vlog. Yeah He's that guy With the glasses And like who eats The Red King That's it of you Jansen Red King Red Red King King. (laughs) So yeah um, uh, (laughs) So yeah Is he gonna Take part in the second part Uh, Of this podcast If you guys want to I mean Uh, I don't know If we If we end early Uh, I don't Well no we can't do it I don't know I'm kinda I'm kinda hungry Yeah I'm kinda hungry too Okay I think we're gonna Take a quick dinner break (laughs) Or I don't know. Do you guys have really anything else to talk about? Um, do we have a second part coming up? What do you mean a second part of this podcast? Yeah. Did you mention um, a, a a part two or something? I don't know, man. Well, we did mention a part, uh, a two hour thing. If you wanted. Wait, you mentioned the two hour thing? No, no, we didn't. Well, like we I don't planned think we for a two hour thing, here. but then. Oh yeah, we didn't mention it. I don't remember. We planned for it, but if yeah, you guys want a part it. two, I think. Yeah, I guess we could just do a part two. I think yeah. I'm game for a part two. Yeah, because there's still with a lot Carlo. of topics that I still wanna. Part yeah. two with Carlo G. Yeah. All right. After we eat. Yeah. And so then let's let's tell him all right. to make our music. All right. So um, we're gonna take we're gonna break. take a quick break here because we're very hungry. Bring stuff. Um, and then when we come back for part two, we will be joined by our friend Carlo. Who's our first guest of this pod of our podcast series, which is Boo. Boo. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Which is uh, which is actually another which is another um idea that we've been planning to have where we bring or guests some, or people or yeah. other friends to take yeah. part. So um we will be back with you shortly. But for now, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, the first part of our the f- t- Thanks so much podcast. for tuning into the first part of this podcast. Um, we will be back soon. And um, shout out to Newport. Yeah. See you guys.